Hello and welcome back to our, our next tutorial on Adobe Lightroom version 4. The last video we did, uh, we showed you how to set up or make your own custom templates. So now we're going to step through um, a question we had is how to take a photo and use the same photo but split it into thirds and make one photo out of that image. So what we're going to do, we're going to kind of start from the very beginning on what you'd have to do. And you do not have to switch between uh, Lightroom and Photoshop or uh, something like that. You can all do it in Lightroom, um, and we'll just go through the simple steps on how to do that. So what we're going to do is, first thing first, you have to import a photo. So you have to go down to the Import button and click on the Import. And then you have to select an image. So what I'll do is I'll go in here under where I have my folder that I was asked to do. So we're going to take it's all the way down here at the bottom. It's a classic car. So I'm going to have uncheck all of the pictures and just select the one that I'm going to work on, which is this one here. And then I select it. I'm going to hit import. So there's the image. So now what we need to do is we need to jump over into the develop module. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to split this image into thirds, and this is how you do it. So what you have to do is you have to go over here to your right-hand uh, control panel and click on the crop overlay. So you can see by the grid lines, this broken down into what will be three sections. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag from the left side here, on the right side, I'm sorry, we're going to drag from the right and drag to the left just about to the edge of the tire right here and then we're done we're going to click the done button which now gives us just the front end of the car so what you have to do now is you have to go under file export we're going to export this to a, a folder already on our desktop and hit export it's telling us now that that file already exists so what we need to do is we need to add this to that same image without overwriting it and how to do that is just use the unique name okay then what we're going to do next is we're going to go back to our crop overlay tool now drag this over to the right take the left side and drag it to that, about that same spot on that tire and now drag the right side just on the other side of the the driver's door and then we're going to hit done again now we have the middle section of the image and we're going to repeat the same process go export export and then use the unique name okay go back to the crop overlay now we can drag this one all the way to the right this one all the way over here just on that same side of the door hit the done button again hit file export export use the unique name again and then when it's exported all you have to do is go over here and click on the reset button which takes you back to your image um, you know, because Lightroom is a non-destructive software, it does not hurt the image whatsoever. So now what we're going to have to do is jump back over into the library module. I'm just going to delete this photo, so I'm going to right-click on it, hit delete photo, and I'm just going to hit remove. So now what we have to do is we have to import those three photos that we just cut in half, or into thirds. So we go back to the same folder that we just had everything exported into, which would be my export file. So I go all the way down here to where that image is saved. Okay, here's our three pieces of the car. So you have to uncheck all and check the three boxes that has the three parts of the car. Now we have to go on the right hand side and click the import button. Now this will import those three images back into Lightroom. So from here you have to now go over to your print module 
and we have the custom size already made. This is a 20 by 30 layout. I have three equal cells, so all we're going to do now is just import the images. And to do that, you just click on the image and drag it up into the box. And the next one, same thing. And the back of the car is right there. And that's how you do it. Um, so if you have any questions on this video, send us an email or, or leave us a comment and we'll get back to you just as soon as we possibly can. Thank you.